Louisiana Beer Reviews leather jacket American Porter okay this is from Edmonds Oast Brewing Company 6.5 percent some hop cone skull head and a metaphysical thing I don't know what this is all about product of Charleston South Carolina this was sent to me by TK uh, he has a good uh, channel beer review channel a beer a day with TK you should check it out thank you TK for this brewed and came by Edmonds Oast Oast I guess it's Oast Brewing Company King Street Charleston South Carolina all right six and a half percent don't give the bitterness units uh, November 10th 2022 born on date would I imagine Edmonds Oast <clears throat> and it's got a clear cylindrical can with a adhesive paper label now does a person have to be involved in metaphysics or Gnosticism to run a craft brewery this is the question of today the answer is you don't actually have to be involved in that you don't have to be involved with the occult Uh, you don't have to have a particular political persuasion although there tends I notice there tends to be a pattern there okay anyway um, beige head dark brown nearly black appearance so um, beer advocate saying 86 very good rape beer saying wrong it's terrible it's a 61 out of 100 it's an awful beer and a 60 in the style it's terrible it's a bad it's a bad porter and it's a bad beer and then um rate uh untaps giving it 75 so that's around a b b plus um i didn't find any i found two video reviews that's right two video reviews so i'm going to check them out later today hopefully the aroma The aroma. Dark roasted barley malt, almost like licorice. I didn't see anything about added flavor. I can see brown through the side there. It's not as dark on the edges. Alright, taste chills. Dark roasted barley malt, as it comes across like dark brown bread crust. A low medium body, almost a thin body, porter. Six and a half is more like a stout porter. No, I mean, but doesn't have the body to support that. dry finish sweetness scale eh, two out of five sugar cubes bitterness two out of five hop cones so it's balanced or round like I was talking about the other day with other beers um you don't need a, a D and Chohan to send a message to review it you could just buy this and check it out um I don't know which root race would want this more. Um, I guess in a Pythagorean sense, but not really Aristotelian or platonic you know I just think on a base level I think the world earth revolves around the moon but I 
I think the Earth evolved from the moon. But that being said, <laughs> um, it's just a regular old stout, you know, I mean, That doesn't mean, I mean, a regular old porter. That doesn't mean bad. Don't take that the wrong way. Uh, I, they got a lot of regular old porters that are fantastic, you know, and enjoyable. A regular old porter, if it's done right, should be enjoyable. What I mean is nothing exotic. I will talk about liquor or the aroma. It's nothing like that in the, in the flavor. It's just an American standard porter. Now I don't have the gift of second sight. So I don't know if there's more to this. Is this really a porter, or if it, if it's just a a concept of a porter? All right, but anyway, um, it's a good, it's a very good beer advocate. Eighty six. It's higher than that. I'm going to go with 92, A minus, almost to solid A. And it could be argued, I wouldn't go lower than A minus, but it could be argued solid A. But whatever the case, if you see it and the price is right, and I couldn't tell you what the price is, um, I do really appreciate him sending this. But if you ever see it, check it out. It's a, it's a good um, American Porter beer, dark roasted barley malt. That's the, that's the calling card flavor here. Dark roasted barley malt. So, les les bon temps relay, and I'm going to end this review and say, y'all should go to South Carolina, either physically or transcendentally, and take a brewery tour. <laughs>